NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has just begun operating, but so far it's brought us amazing pictures of the distant universe, such as Webb's first deep field, or nearer objects such as the Carina Nebula. The Space Telescope has even brought us images from our own solar system, such as this one of Jupiter, where you can see mind-blowingly sharp details. However, we've seen people in the comments ask whether Webb will ever take a picture of our own planet Earth. The answer is no, it won't do that because it can't do that. Unlike Hubble, Webb operates much farther from Earth at a point known as the second Lagrangian point. The telescope orbits around that point, which is the ideal location for an infrared telescope like Webb because the Sun and Earth are always on one side of space, thus allowing Webb to keep its telescope optics and instruments perpetually shaded. Webb has to keep the huge solar shield between its optics and the sun in order to keep it super cold, or else scientists wouldn't be able to use it. Webb observes an infrared light which we can't see with our eyes, but we can feel as heat. Because Webb was designed to observe the very faint infrared signals of very distant objects, it needs to be shielded from any bright, hot sources, such as the sun. So if you were to position Webb in such a way that it would be able to take a picture of Earth, the telescope would also have to point toward the sun, which would overheat its instruments and render it useless. The telescope operates at about minus 233 degrees Celsius, minus 388 degrees Fahrenheit. On the hot side, parts of Webb will reach temperatures as high as 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit so the inner solar system will forever be hidden from Webb. But the good news is that Webb will be able to observe the planets at or beyond the orbit of Mars, satellites, comets, asteroids, and Kuiper Belt objects. According to NASA, many important molecules, ices, and minerals have strong characteristic signatures at the wavelengths Webb can observe. As for the distant universe, Webb will be able to see what the universe looked like around a quarter of a billion years, possibly back to 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies started to form. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.